Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the AppTaster file format. So you can export the AppTaster file from the app board or from the home screen. But in this example I'm going to stick with the app board. I'm going to export it to iTunes and uh, then I have to choose between AppCooker, AppTaster and PDF. We're going to select AppTaster and I'm going to explain you what's happening here. This, the created by field, is supposedly the name of your company, the name of the designer who made this, the name who the guy who had the idea about the application. It's up to you. Then you have the send command to. And this is the place where you're supposed to put your email. And this will help the taster, the coworker, the client, to give you feedback because when they're gonna hit when they're gonna tap the comment button what's gonna happen it's gonna bring up a modal view a modal mail view with the screen or the icon or whatever was on the screen and they want to give feedback on with your email address and the subject of the email already written it's super easy so it really is the process of getting the feedback the subject of the email by default is the name of the app, the name you gave to the application in brackets. And this will help to classify the comments in your mailbox. So if you want to make like, you know, add a number of revision or something like that, you can do it. Now, um, the idea behind the AppTaster file format was to give the opportunity to the guy who created the mockup to share it in a form that looks like close to reality to what you can find on the App Store, for example. So, what's what it's like? It's the icon, it's the definition, it's the mockup, and it's the price, right? So that's exactly what we did. So you can ship your app based on file with one icon or no icon. You have to select the mockup, but it's selected by default. Then you can select one language or no language. And then you can select the pricing or no pricing. It's up to you. But the idea is that when, when the taster receives your file, it feels like it's already on the App Store.